how to make the VLOOKUP function in Excel with multiple results, with multiple matches. So take a look here in the salesperson that I can choose, let's say Joseph. And as you guys can see, I got using the VLOOKUP function, many different results. And if I change again the salesperson name, so let's say Julia now, as you guys can see, the results will be automatically changed for me. I can do it with, uh, let's say, any data set that you, you have. You don't need to use the same data set as I'm using here. You can use your own data set. You just need to follow this step by step that I'm going to show you here. So the first thing that we need to create this VLOOKUP function in Excel with multiple matches, multiple results, is to have a data set. And of course, you don't need to use the same data set as I'm using here. You can use your own data set to do this VLOOKUP function with multiple results. But here, I basically have a sales report where I have the date, the brand name, the product name, the salesperson name, the customer, the total GM, and also here I have the region. Let's say I want to know everything that uh, each one of the salespersons sold, for example. So I can choose Anna, John, Joseph, or Julia. Let's say I want to stick here with Joseph, and in some way I need to create a VLOOKUP function or either XLOOKUP function, HLOOKUP function, index match, so on, so on, to have here multiple results. Because as you can see, Joseph is a single person. And if you take a look here in the data set, as you guys can see here, I have Joseph here and then here again, again here, here. So I have multiple results to use when we are talking about sales about Joseph. So let's start here with the equal sign VLOOKUP function to see what we can do here. Double click here, want you to select the first criteria that uh, the VLOOKUP function is asking me is the lookup value. As the lookup value, I'm gonna use the Joseph's name, comma, and now I need to select the table array. The table array is basically here in my data set, and I need to start in the column that I am uh, that I'm gonna use as criteria or the salesperson name. And I can select everything to the right, like this. Comma again, and as you guys can, can see and follow along with the, the formula bar. Now I need to input here the column index number. The column index number is basically the column that I want to bring back as result. And because I select this range right here, my first column is the salesperson, and then the second one, third one, okay, here. So I want to bring it back as result, the, the total column. So that way I need to input the number three, three, and then comma, and I want to use an exact match. So double click here, and then we done, enter. And that's it. So the first sale that Joseph did is $800 to round the number, okay? 800, and now if you see here in the data set, uh, it's correct. So here I have the first appearance of the Joseph name, and yeah, 800. But I also have here a lot of different results, uh, sales, for example, 700, 5,500, and so on and so on. But uh, how can I bring all these results here using the VLOOKUP function? Basically, I can't use just the VLOOKUP function because if uh, we do the VLOOKUP function again, what's going to change? So I need to use maybe some trick to help me and bring back all the results that I have. And to do it, instead of using the Joseph's name itself, I need to make some changes here. So let's say I have a couple of uh, Joseph's names here. It's the same Joseph, but it appears just more than one time. So the first appearance here, Joseph 1, and then here I have Joseph 2 and 3 and 4 and so on and so on. So basically, each time that uh, the Joseph's names appear, I can count one. So Joseph 1, Joseph 2, Joseph 3, and so on and so on. That way, we are not using anymore just uh, one criteria, that is Joseph, but Joseph 1, and then Joseph 2, and then Joseph 3, and so on and so on. To do it here in the analysis, I can start with the number one to represent the first appearance of the Joseph's name, and then two, three, four. Let's say you have here, 15 different results, or even more, you can choose, okay? Let me select here everything, one, two, three, and four, and click, and click here in the down right corner of the cell, drag it down, and okay, now I can use 15 different results to use the Joseph's name with the number one, and then Joseph two, Joseph three. I can use the upper send symbol, like this, for example, equal sign, Joseph, upper send, and then the number one, enter. If I double click here, I can do it for all the rows, but before I click, hold, and drag down, I need to lock the reference of C2, that is the name of Joseph. So F for a key to input here the dollar sign before the letter and after the letter. And then I can press enter here and click hold in the down right corner of the cell and drag down and we done. And now instead of using a fixed criteria, 
we can use a dynamic one, Joseph one, Joseph two, Joseph three, and so on, so on. That way we can bring back as result as many as different matches that we're gonna have here. But here in the data set, I need to do here basically the same thing. And to do it, I can either use the columns here to the right, or I can also input new columns to the left of my data set and do the same thing. I'm gonna choose the second option. So I'm gonna click here in the entire column A, right click, insert, one more time, one more time, okay? Like this, for example. So now every name basically got a number one. So for example, John one, Joseph one, Julia one. Oops, but here I have uh, the second time the Julia's name. So here it's gonna be Julia two. To make this counting in Excel, we can use the count if function, and then we can do a little trick here. Equal sign, count if function, double click here, count if. The range that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just click in the, in the first cell that I want to use as criteria. So this first salesperson name, and then I'm gonna press here, column. And as you guys can see, it's basically duplicated the, the selection of the cell. G2, column, G2. And then, comma, as the criteria, I want to use, again, the G2 cell, like this. But before you press enter, I need to select here the second cell here, G2, okay? And then I'm gonna lock with the F4 key, like this. I can close parentheses and then press enter. Let me just click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag down to the last row, like this, and yeah. Now, as you guys can see here, the results are changed. So one, 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 two, two, three, four, five, one again, and so on, so on. So basically here, double click, as you guys can see, the range that we are using as the count range is increasing following the row that uh, the function is current at. That way, let's take a look here. For example, we have here John, Joseph, Julia, the first appearance, and then Julia, the second appearance. So basically, as a result, the count if function, we're gonna need to have the number one and then the number two. Let's see if it's true. Okay, number one and number two. Let's take another example here. So basically, I have the first Joseph's name here, and then the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and so on and so on. So here, basically, I'm going to need to have as a result two, three, four, and five. Let's check if it's correct. Two, three, four, and five. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. We are almost done here. The only thing that is missing here is to append the salesperson name with the number itself. Equal sign. I can select here the first salesperson name, a percent, and then select the number. Enter. I can double click here, one, two, and be done. So now we have here a different criteria, different salesperson's name to use and to match with the salesperson's names that we create here. And of course, it's totally dynamic. So if I change here the name, as you guys can see, the, the, all the criteria is gonna change here. Now let me select here everything. I'm gonna read it off. Then we can create here the VLOOKUP function again. Equal sign, VLOOKUP function. Double click here, one, two, as the lookup value. Now, I'm not using more just the salesperson name, but I'm gonna append to the name, a percent, the number that I have here to the left, like this, simple as that. But one thing here is very important. The C2 cell that I'm using as the salesperson name, I need to lock this reference, F4 key, because when I click in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag it out, I want to, the reference of the salesperson name stay in the same selection, comma, and now the table array that I'm gonna use is in the data set. And just to remember, you can use the VLOOKUP function, the XLOOKUP function, ATLOOKUP, MIB, and also the index match function, okay? So you can use all these different functions to, to get as many as results as you need to. You just need to follow this step by step. So comma, and then I need to select the table array. Now my table array is gonna start with the column B because in the column B is where I have my criteria. Column B, all the way to the right, like this, comma again. Now let's follow here through the formula bar, column index number. Okay, this one now is harder. My range is this one right here. Now the column that I want to bring back as result, okay, it's the same column, but the, the position, uh, the reference is gonna change. So it's this column right here that I'm gonna use and bring it back as result, the total. But now the total is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the column number eight. Eight, now is my reference, comma. And I want to use an exact match. Once you enter and we're done. Now I can click here in this double right corner of the cell, click hold and drag it out to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And why I got here an arrow? Because let's say Anna just sold, just has, for example, 11 different sales. If I choose another salesperson here, Joseph, for example, as you guys can see, all events will be automatically updated for me. And the Joseph only have 10 different sales. It's correct. So whenever you go here, this NA, it's because there, there isn't 
uh, Joseph 11 or Joseph 12, 13, and so on and so on. So this is how we can do the VLOOKUP function with uh, multiple results, with multiple matches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, you can also hide the column A, B, and C. Right click, select, right click, and then hide. That way, no one is going to see what you just did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.